astronomer Vera Rubin has died. She was one of the world's pioneering female astronomers who helped find powerful evidence of dark matter. In 1948, she became the first woman to graduate in astronomy from Vassar College in the United States. Rubin examined more than 200 galaxies, and her groundbreaking research suggested for the first time that a significant part of the universe is composed of dark matter. She was also a strong advocate for women in science. Let's talk now to Ejay Eser, a postdoctoral research fellow at the National Tsinghua University in Taiwan. Thanks so much for joining us, Ejay. A lot of what Vera Rubin contributed to science is uh, sometimes quite difficult for laymen to understand. So if you can, tell us why she was so important to your field of astronomy. What did she achieve? Yeah, she was a remarkable astronomer. And uh, what she showed was the first accurate evidence for the existence of dark matter. Uh, this is a kind of matter we still don't understand because it doesn't uh, emit electromagnetic wavelengths, so we could not we cannot observe it directly. But the work by Vera Rubin uh, showed that we need this matter to explain uh, the observations she did. Uh, she was studying motions of stars in nearby galaxies. And in, from classical physics, we expect uh, to have uh, lower speeds as we go further in a galaxy from the central mass. But she showed that the stars at the edge of the galaxies were moving fast uh, compared to the theory. Okay. So uh, okay. she claimed that we need an other kind of mass which we call as dark matter outside the galaxy. To explain, so this okay. was the first accurate evidence. Right. Now, now, from someone who works in the field, tell us how much Vera Rubin actually inspired you, particularly as a woman in a very male-dominated area. Yeah, I mean, all uh, successful women astronomers inspires young generation, this is so true. And uh, when you see such careers and such uh, successful scientists, you always say, oh, if they did it in such a male-dominated uh, world that was in the past, we can also do it now, right? and we, we should uh, follow their way. Do you think she got the recognition she deserved over the course of her career? Uh, no, probably not. I mean, she could have uh, uh, suggested for a Nobel Prize or some other prizes, I think. Okay. Ej, we're going to have to leave it there. Thanks so much for sharing uh, your insight and thoughts on uh, Vera Rubin. Much appreciated.